Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario 64 Randomizer. Now that we're done in this course, let's go ahead and exit, sacrificing one of our lives so we don't have, have to go somewhere else, kind of. Uh, because I want to try and open up, or well, check this thing out, where is it? Hang on, the, the booze moved. <laughs> I forgot that that would be a thing. The, the entrance to the level is just randomly placed in the world, and you have to find it. Also, it'd be really cool if on the overworld, like for the paintings, they had like pipes for them, and the paintings were just there basically. But in, it's like so, instead of um, having to go into the painting, you have to find the pipe, and like the textures around the pipe on the ground, and like walls maybe, like have a like fade into the level theme. I feel like that'd be really cool. That's just a random thought that I've had, but anyway. Uh, yeah, Vanish Cap level. We're gonna have to go a long way up for this, because that's just how it is. And I mean a long way up, so here we go. Let's crawl. Do our thing, unless we can't turn the camera up all the way, so... Ah, ah, ah. That's not gonna help us either, so... In fact, we actually have to use a cap, I think, to avoid that, unless I go further away from it, possibly. Might be the ideal option. I think I got, like almost all the red coins in this one time, and then I died because I fell off, so... Which is really strange, especially when I came back into the level and it put me... It, like, it started me somewhere else in the level. It was that they actually... It started me at the end of the level rather than the middle of the level, which is weird. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's keep crawling up. Slowly, but surely. Wait, what happened to the music? Did the music die? I think it did. I can't tell though. Please don't hurt me. It's fine. I'll just crawl over here to safety. Oh no, it just completely changed. Oh, because we don't have the cap anymore. Okay. So the cap music is just that. Okay. But the music for this level is Big Boo's Haunt. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Just keep crawling, just keep crawling, just keep crawling, Mario. Crawl faster. It's fine. Nothing up here, so let's keep going up. I wonder if it's actually better to stop crawling and just try to jump up. Oh, there's another one of those on there? What is going on? This is so rude. So very, very rude. Crawl, 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 crawl. This might be alright. Hang on. It's fine. Somehow. Let's keep going up. Is there two platforms up here or just one? I think it's just the one up here. Oh my goodness, another fire spitter. Run away, Mario. Crawl. Crawl for your life. I mean, I guess that's going to be good because there's not going to be so many later on. But there's, e there's like one every platform. It's ridiculous. Don't need to worry about that box, luckily. Luckily. And there's no red coins up here, so that was a w uh, w No, no! No, the red coin thing is up here. <laughs> no. I have to crawl all the way back up once I have all the red coins, after I've gone through the entire level backwards. Oh, that's just a shame. Why are there so many fire spitters? There's so many! It's fine. Also, the red coins over this way are gonna be crazy. I already have five, so we're only missing three, because it's eight. I know maths a little bit. <laughs> That's the most math I can do at a moment's notice, probably. Okay, interesting. There are a couple up here now. None in the cage, which, which is good, because now I have to go all the way back. All the way back and crawl all the way up. I might want to cut through this, maybe. Oh, hang on. That's gonna flip. <laughs> Need to be more careful than this. <laughs> he. Oh, maybe I won't be cutting through this because I'm gonna die. Yep. Well, hopefully next time will spawn me at that, basically. Oh, I did enter that on the first episode, didn't I? Because the first episode ended up here, basically. I remember now. It's crazy. It feels like a long time ago for some reason. Even though it was a day ago. <laughs> Even though it was a day ago. Oh my goodness. What has happened with time? Am I right? Ah, uh, let's try another place because we can, I think. 
Also, one of these was vanilla on the other seed, which was uh, Womp's Fortress, because it was just Womp's Fortress inside. We got Bomb's Battlefield, which was um, vanilla, vanilla in this one, so... Snowman's Land, okay. Well, I should probably look around here first, because there's probably a bunch of stuff just around. Oh, there really is, isn't there? There <laughs> really is. They just really want to put stuff everywhere. Well, there's a freestanding star. Let me grab that. And this box might also be a f another freestyle. So let's go ahead and open that. Freestar? Nope. That's fine. This is probably one of the most interesting levels to randomize. Also, this when this dies, I don't know where it's going to put its thing. Ah, ah, he, ah, ah. There are so many enemies. Also, there's another box. No, wind. That's going to make that very difficult. Very difficult. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is going to be something if I try to keep that kick to kick the box open or something. The camera's really not helping. And the sliding's really not helping, and the wind is already not helping, and nothing's helping. It's just a real shame. Why is that not flipping? When Mario Mar flips, and he just doesn't do what I tell him to do. That is just a shell of what it's supposed to be. Oh my goodness, I died so much. Just absolutely murdered by the enemies there. Well, let's try... Was this no Mario Reflection? That's interesting. Tolta Mountain. Hello, monkey. Bye, monkey. It's a rule. You have to say it. You know it is. You know it to be true. Oh, let's go up first, maybe. See if there's anything around. This is like a, one of the most dangerous parts of the level. <laughs> there's just so much stuff flying at Mario. Also, there's a star there. Bull. I don't think there's anything over that way. I can't see though, so I can't give a guarantee. Also, nice blue star. So I'll take that. And there's another star right here. Very nice. Uh, anything up the slope? Nope. Cool. Good. I might actually want that life. Life is actually a lot more valuable now that I know that I need to sacrifice them to leave the level in certain ways. Also, I saw that star, but I'm going to come back to it, hopefully. <laughs> as long as I don't die. So probably want to check the top of the mountain first, somewhat. Make sure there's nothing up there of great value. Also need to get the star up here to spawn where I need it to be. Thank you, friend. That just really wanted to explode Mario. Get over here. Please, thank you. Okay, thank you, monkey. Need to actually get it. Be where it is when it gets the star out there, so I need to be ready for that as well. Also, what's gonna happen on the slide? Oh my goodness. Hang on, it's fine. Probably. It's just going to have coins everywhere. Okay. Break that open. And then I'll probably head into the slide. I don't know if it's going to change what happens with the star though, so let's see where that goes. Right there. Probably a good thing I didn't leave then. Just need to get down to that. Hang on, I can't jump good on that slope for some reason. Hang on, I can't jump good on this slope for some reason. It's like sand. It just must be like very viney ground or something. I don't know. I don't know how vine works apparently. Uh, let's see. Where is the platform where I need to be? Oh, it's right here. I'm not. I'm not actually where I'm supposed to be. Okay. It's fine. Now, is there coins up here? That's a good question to start off. No. Okay. Oh, the. <laughs> here we go. Coins, coins, coins. Give me the coins. Give me the coins. Give me the coins. Give them to me. Give me coins. 
so why is it the desert? I don't know. There's coins on the way I can't go. Because I will die if I go that way. But there are coins over that way, so... Interesting. I want more coins. Please don't shove me off the edge. Oh! All of these coins are just all on, all on their own. It's really strange. Anyway, that seems like that's everything in there, so let's leave that. Nothing here. Nothing here. The red coin. Ah, bomb! It's fine. Grab these coins, please. Let's go down. Another bomb. There's a lot of these that just want to explode. Mario. Apparently. Ah! Sign. It's a sign. Oh no, not again. There's so many different ways that this level can work. Because wherever you, you start from and wherever the stuff is, you just have to go through it and it just works somehow. Mario 64 just works. Basically. Also, what's the sky? Is this a icy world? This is actually- I, I, I like that background, so... Just wanted to point that out because I noticed it. Let's get that other star now. Get the rest of these red coins that are around. Oh, so there's another star there as well. Two freestanding stars. You gotta love freestanding stars in levels because they just make it a lot easier for randomizers. Basically. I'm glad that I said on the... Um, what's it called? Uh, the not leaving level when you grab a star thing. That was just like one of my favorite things from the Odyssey mod. And I'm just happy that that's a thing that I can just keep doing. Also, we almost have 100 coins already. That's actually kind of impressive because I didn't think I was going to get that on this visit. Also, that was cool, I guess. <sighs> just absolutely exploded. Also, I think if I go down there, I can't get back unless I can. Well, no, I can if I do it the right way, but not the wrong way. I've learned, maybe. Also, how am I going to get more coins? Well, there's these Goombas, so that's two more. Please, 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 thank you. Need to really play it a bit safe-ish. Bob bomb. Give me the coin, thank you. There's more coins up there, but I don't think I want to grab those, maybe. I don't know. It might be a bit difficult, although it looks like I'm going that way anyway, so might as well. Thank you. Okay. Now, how many red coins do we have? Looks like the last one is the one down there. So we'll get us pretty, pretty much there. But then I also need to make sure I don't die after that. Okay, here we go. Don't kill me now. Maybe now, but not not quite yet. Maybe. Okay. All the way over there. And we just have to go back the way we came. Use the warp, maybe. Not fall off the mushrooms, <laughs> and then we will be good. Thank you for not killing me. That almost ended badly. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're good. We just need two more coins now. From somewhere as well. Oh, breathing. It's a good thing. So I guess there was a bunch of stuff at the start of the level as well, wasn't there? That I kind of passed by, which you can get stuff, some stuff from. We have six out of seven stars. We can get, we've can we got all, bit, all basically all the stars in this level. In one trip. I was not expecting that, to be honest. I was really expecting to just get a few and then leave. Or something. There they are. Why is there a bubble in the water? It's also a life down there. Okay, there we go. Grab that, and I might even grab the one up as well. Also, we have all the basic. We have the amount of stars I had by the end of the second episode. That didn't record. <laughs> so this is going really well, especially because we're. Oh, I guess I guess it's about the same amount of time, isn't it? Let's spend that life now and exit course. Okay, let's see if Toad is around. I guess. Toad, are you there? I want to say hello to you. 
Uh, nothing here, apparently. Maybe upstairs. I think I checked up the other side of this door, though, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, maybe down this other door, which is just open, which is nice. There's also the other two side rooms as well. A lot of places to check. This is really Bowser's castle, isn't it? According to the music, anyway. Okay. Toad! There you are, just looking at the painting, or the wall. Just contemplating life in, in this corner. Thank you very much. That's one of the up upstairs stars. Also, there's two paintings here for Tiny Huge Island. I don't know how that's going to work. There, there's probably going to be one for big, one for small, just randomly placed throughout the world. I'm not going to know which one's which. Now, let's try the other side. I guess they're just going to be in these two rooms, which kind of makes sense. Kind of. Also, I, we were already in this room, and I didn't look at all for anything else in the round. This place. Hello, Toad. You're just standing there, looking at the another wall. Probably figuring out the secret of the reflection. Also, you didn't give me a thing. Uh, do I need to do something else first? Toad, what are you doing? Toad. Toad? Toad! He's just become ghost. He's not turning back. He is just here, lost forever. In the mirror room. Okay. Did I go into that? Or did I... I don't remember anything that I've done. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, let's try this painting. Interesting. Very interesting. Where are the coins? There's one up here. Also, the coloring is really strange. Because the, the sky outside is so much darker. Than the other one. It's the same inside, it's just the different outside. Making this look so weird, and the color contrasting is... Strange. Okay, that's six. Seven, where's the last one? All the way over there, of course, and the star's gonna spawn in who knows where on that one spot there. Because it can be up in the sky, or it could be down on the floor. Or it could just be in the middle, which is about what you'd expect on a scale like that. If you're gonna pick a random number, it's gonna be in the middle. <laughs> Here we go. Well, there we go. Let's exit course, I guess. Spend another life. And we can check that hole again. See what's in here this time. Jolly Roger Bay. Cool. I will accept this. This is acceptable. Let's open the cannon. Also, I can't remember if I did this in the first or second episode. Or not. I do not recall a thing. A single thing. All I know is that I messed it up. And also Star. Thank you very much. Grab. 34 stars already. Oh my goodness, now that I think about it, we could get through the game so fast. If we if we already have 34 stars, this is gonna go by so fast. Like, this is why I could do so many seeds, because they just go by so quickly. It's just so enjoyable. Doing every level in different ways. This is like one of my new favorite things, probably. It's just Super Mario 64 randomizer. A lot of coins up here. I don't know how well I can get 100 coins with stuff the way it is. Hopefully there's nothing floating in the air over there. I mean, there is the coins. But aside from that, I think I'm fine, probably. But I will need to get all those coins because there's only so many coins available. Looks like a lot of stuff is going to be in the cave. Probably. So I have no idea how I'm going to get those coins up there. Or over there. No, I can't get 100 coins right now. Have to do the sunken ship first. Which, can I actually do that? And will that make it go up? Once I've done that. That's a good question. Hang on, give me a minute. Okay. Hello. Let's head on up. 
And back down. Okay, it's out. It's also one of the chests there. But once we do this, we get kicked out into the regular area again, so that's nice. Don't just have to go all around the place. Also, what is this madness? <laughs> what is this madness? <laughs> I mean, it's really funny that this is just on the slope randomly. But what is this madness? What is this ridiculousness? I've been saying that a lot. <laughs> it's a good line, so... I just talk about it one time, and now I'm gonna say it forever. All the time. There we go. Come on, water. I need you to go down. There's the star. A nice silver color. I feel like there really needs to be a Mario game where there is just a whole bunch of stars all different colors like this. Okay, so now, did that actually do what I hoped it would? It did! Okay, interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind for future seeds because... I was a bit concerned that I'd have to leave the level and come back for 100 coins, but no. If I do the first star, then it would just be... The ship would just be there. Which is very convenient. Very helpful. And hopefully the stuff outside of here didn't reset, which I don't think it did. Okay, up we go. That is so nice to know that that is that way. Randomizer has thought about everything, <laughs> basically. They they did such a good job of this. Okay, let's go up, please. Thank you. Grab all that. Okay. There's nothing up on that platform. I think I did see something else around here. Well, so these clams are basically pointless because they just are so unlikely to have anything inside of them. Well, I mean, they could, I guess. I just have to be paying a lot of attention. Also, are those coins up on the ledge? Or were they up on the ledge? I think so. Because I don't think they're anywhere else now, so... Ah, pull. I got pulled in. Grab these. And that one. Seven red coins already. We've yet to go down into the what's it called? I guess the what's it, um, the eel star is also probably going to be something I need to get carefully. Easier said than done. <laughs> I'm very bad at it, and probably will just walk right or swim right into it and die. <sighs> maybe I'll do the rest of the stuff first and then come back for it. Get that one last, maybe. The one in the current isn't there, so that's interesting. That one's just a freestanding one, so... Please, swim. 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 Swim, Mario. Swim. Swim. Okay. Let's get these, which I think are probably where they're supposed to be. Which is quite convenient to know about. 89 coins. There's so many coins in here. There's so much stuff just all around. There we go. 100 coins. That didn't work exactly how I wanted it, but it's fine. So I don't need to worry about coins anymore. We just need to get these chests. Last one's out in the open. In the water. So I have to go, go back for that. I think this is the last red coin. And where does it spawn? Right over there. Cool. I have four stars, so we need three more. So there's that one, the, the chest one. And one more. Which is probably in this box? No. Which one haven't I- Oh no, it's the eel one. Never mind, I'm crazy. We're good. We have everything we need. We're in go mode. For this level, at least. Swim. <laughs> I have to swim it's all- all the things that we have left. Another good level to have randomized. I feel like it's so much more interesting to have stuff like anywhere. Somehow it just makes it more interesting to just have stuff where you're not expecting it. 
Randomizer is so good. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> All the way back to the cave. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Just gonna go get this star first. 38. Oh my goodness. Very nice. Let's go get the one in the cave, and then we'll do the one for the eel. Well, I could try the eel. I just don't think I'm going to do a good job of it, because I'm usually very good at swimming right into it, so... I mean, I could risk it. Now, the chest won't be that hard to recollect. There's one down here, two in the cave, and then one up top. It's just having to go back and forth a little bit, so... Okay. Please don't kill me. Also, I like that the star on that is also a different color. It's a good thing I grabbed that then, because that's going to be over there. Interesting. In the cave we go. Yeah, so it's a good thing I did that, because that's actually more optimal than I would have expected it to be. Where is it? Where are they? All the way over here. Both next to each other, which is pretty cool. I just love the different colored stars. I have to say that again, because I just like it. Especially seeing them right next to each other as well. I feel like that's a, just a cool thing in general, is when the two collectibles are right next to each other. Like in Odyssey, when you grow the, the 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 plants, the moon plants, and they have the moons inside, and they're just like all lined up. It's just really cool. Anyway, uh, let's exit course, I guess. I don't remember if we've checked this painting or not, but I'm going to check it again, so... And the answer is... Die, die, dox. Pole jumping, right. I don't know why we couldn't just do this last time, because I thought... I guess... I don't know. We got the first star, which is why I would have expected it to... change. But it didn't... didn't, so... But yeah, we're gonna have to spend some time here getting all this, these coins. Because they are just strewn about. It's probably fine, though. Got this lovely music, I guess. I don't know. It's good for the boss fight, not great for just casual swimming around the water level. Grab these. Thirty something, thirty six. Seven. Need to not get pulled into the whirlpool. Easier said than done, obviously. 42. Try and use the whirlpool to move closer to these ones and not get pulled in. It's all those. Okay. I don't remember. I thought I saw another one. Like another thing of coins, but I don't remember where it was. So I'm just going to move on for the moment, I think. We have 47, which is interesting because there needs to be a lot more of it this way then, which I think the blue coins are probably going to help us out a lot, the yellow coins. <laughs> it's so weird to think about, but anyway, I'm so used to blue coins, I just say blue coins, so, and red coins as well. Oh, the thing's open as well. Need to be extra careful. I should be fine as long as I'm swimming down low, so... Which is what I have to do. No, no, don't get pulled in. Don't get pulled in. Why do they have these things that just kill Mario? Bowser was doing a really good job with these things. Ah, ah, ah. Swim away. Swim away. Okay. And the red coins count as two coins. That really helps get us to 100 coins as well. Where is the coin? There it is. I'm going to get very confused trying to find these. Uh, red coins. Pink coins. Or something. The poles are up there now. I really was expecting that to change as soon as we got the, the what's it called? The first star, first level. But I think the way it is, that it works is it has to load the level itself. Where Because, we, because when Jolly Roger Bay, we change the area. 
it made... It was able to load the stuff differently, so the ship was floating. Also, the ship is a weird object. Just I just want to say that. Just... I don't think... With recent, like, current tools, it's uh, able to be used in regular hack stuff. Also, I, I don't know about the chain chomp either, because the chain chomp is weird. I think that's why in Super Mario 64 Star Road, it doesn't use the chain chomp the same way. But it basically has some other stuff around it that you have to do stuff with. And I think that's because they couldn't get it to break open the gate or something, probably. I mean, that's what I expect, anyway. And it works pretty well for what it does, so... It was a good change of things. Also, there's a block there that I didn't see at all. Okay. Uh, there's nothing over that way, so let's not go that way. Because of the way that this is, there's just stuff everywhere. Also, how do I only have this many coins? I guess the blue coins will be enough to get us to 100, but still. Oh no, there's like... Them and... Wherever the last red coin is. Where is the last red coin? Oh, over there. That's convenient. I think that's everything, so... Seems pretty good. Okay. Jump off that. There's that. The red coins. Now, for the blue coins, yellow coins, whatever they need to be. There's the 100 coin star. One, one, one coins again. That happened in the failed episode, I think, where we had lots of one, one, one coins. Somehow. But this is the last start of this level, so. How many levels do we have complete at this point? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, let's exit course, I think. I can't remember what this led to last time we were here. We've already done the Bowser level, which was what the Bowser level is. Uh, in here is Big Boo's Haunt, which we did. We can sacrifice life to leave again. It's just a shame that we have to sacrifice lives like this. It's fine. I'm willing to sacrifice the lives of Mario. Where does this lead? I do not remember at all. Oh, it leads here. I guess I can try this again. I have to go to the end though first, probably. And work my way back. And there's not really any point to just leaving this level. Unfortunately. Because we have to basically use a life anyway. Kind of, except if we fall, we don't use a life, so. I need to remember that right now, apparently. No, it does throw us out, doesn't it? That's weird. It doesn't normally do that. So we did just use a life. There's life there as well. So we know that uh, Di Diodox's entrance leads to that. We can keep that in mind, hopefully, maybe. Uh, but anyway, I think that's pretty it for now. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.